Hey guys, what's going on? All right, so kind of a cold, rainy day. Um, I'm gonna make some chili. Now I'm gonna make a kind of a southwestern Mexican chili. I've made it before. The recipe varies a little bit, but always comes out good. Now I am gonna do this in the crock pot. Yeah, no surprise, surprise, right? I am using the power of the sun, um, and I love doing that. With that being said, this is probably going to be one of my last crock pot videos for a while. I'm going to be switching now, now that I'm getting more sun, because the days are getting longer. Oh, hold on, let me turn this TV down. Watching Star Trek. Now because we're getting more sun now, I can start using higher wattage electric appliances, things like that. So we're going to be switching over from the crock pot and going to like some pressure cooking. We're going to do some different Insta, what's it, Insta pot? I don't have the instant pot. I have the, uh, just an electric pressure cooker. I've shown it in other videos and we're going to be switching over to doing, I'll do some cooking videos with that. That'll bring us into spring, into summer, and then we can start doing some cast iron and things like that um, as the outdoor weather becomes, you know, a little better for that. So let me show you what we're doing. All right, what I got here. Now, my last batch of chili was a, was, um, a turkey chili. But this time I had gotten this ground beef 33% off. So for three pounds, I only paid six sixty nine. That's not bad. This is an eighty twenty. You know something for southwestern chili. You know turkey or ground meat. I say is equally as good. I'd prefer ch uh, turkey just because it's a bit healthier. But um, when I got this for a special, I figured why not. Also, I picked up a large skillet been wanting one of these i got this at sam's club and it's got the ceramic coating instead of the uh teflon i'm trying to move away from teflon as much as i can but i picked this up and i gotta say so far i love this frying pan this skillet so we're gonna brown up the meat and uh get it ready to go into the crock pot oh and a bit about this crock pot this is an older crock pot of mine this is a six quart. Um, you've seen me use the one and a half quart, the four quart. Now this is the larger six quart model. Um, I like this one because it's digital. I can set it to high and then a time and it'll automatically go into warm mode when the time is up. So if I'm not going to be back in eight hours, I know that it'll just switch over to, to keep warm and not continue to overcook. So that's one of the reasons why I like this one. It's also bigger and when I'm doing a three pounds of ground meat um the six quart will definitely be a good now choice recipe here. well you know something let me get this ground meat into the frying pan and then uh we'll talk about the other ingredients all right so we got the meat in brown it up i'm gonna go through this video rather quick i'm not gonna spend a lot of time chit-chatting about the steps um we're just gonna Go through it like one, two, three, four, five. All right. Well, meat's all browned up. Now we're going to drain this meat off, get the grease out of here, and then we'll put the meat into the crock pot. All right, we strained all that grease off. So now that the meat's in the crock pot, I like to add some chili powder. Don't be shy. I put a probably four tablespoons in cumin we have the crock pot on low and just mix it in this this starts the seasoning oh, of the meat it smells good already all right now for the veggies and the rest of it i have one of these little chopper you know the amount of cooking i do it's nice to have you just put the pieces in they work great this is my second one So we just got two large green peppers, chopping them up. All right. So a nice uniformly cut green pepper. Now I like to 
caramelize and saute the vegetables before putting them into the crock pot. Um, so I have my pan here. It's got a little bit of the grease from the ground meat in it. And I got the heat on high. And then we'll throw this in. Listen to that sizzle, this is huh? three large, very large, yellow onions. Just plain old yellow onions. And now what we're doing here, we're not trying to cook them all the way through. We're just trying to give them a little bit of a browning on one side. You know, just to give them a little extra flavor. All right, well, the peppers and onions are just about done. I diced up two large jalapenos. We're going to chop those fine and put them right in with the meat and the other onions and peppers. All right, now for the beans. We have a dark red kidney bean, a small red bean, and black beans. Like I said, this is a southwestern uh, style. We're going to add a can of diced tomatoes. Now, we're also going to add this Mexican style corn, which comes with some chilies and uh, red and green, actually red and green peppers. And we're going to add a can of enchilada sauce. This is the medium in place of one of the small cans of tomato sauce. All right, look at that. Okay, I do have one pack of just the Walmart, 99 cents I think it was. Uh, chili seasoning mix. Now this is good for one pound of meat, um, which obviously I have three pounds in here. So we'll also be adding some of the ancho chili seasoning blend. This is just a dried chilies um, that really add the you know to a southwestern flavor. And we'll add more cumin and chili powder to taste. I, of course, I might add some crushed red pepper as well, just to bring up the heat a little bit. All right. Well, I've added two tablespoons of chopped garlic and some black pepper as well as some crushed red pepper. Now I never add salt when I'm using canned, you know, canned goods. You see here there's 180 milligrams in just the tomatoes, the diced tomatoes alone of sodium. That's per serving and I think one container here has seven. So let's just say there's 1400 milligrams of sodium just in one can of diced tomatoes. I've added two to this. Never mind, the beans are also have sodium in them. When anything canned usually has is pretty high in sodium. If somebody wants it to be a little salty, they can put it on after when they eat it. We'll let that go on low for eight hours. All right, guys. Well, it is now eight hours later. Let's check on that chili. You can see the corn. Lots of meat. You know, three pounds of meat is a lot of meat for a chili like this. And that's why I called it a mega meat chili. Oh, nice. It is a cold day. Or a cold night, rather. Let's just un unplug the crock pot. And we'll put a little cheddar cheese right on top. There we go. Now normally I'd like to put like maybe some toasted um, corn chips or something like that right on the top and then the cheese. But I don't have them, so this will have to do. <sighs> Look at that. Star Trek on the TV, of course. Some of you that don't know, I'm trying to watch them all in chronological order. That's kind of why they're on every time you see me on video. I do watch other stuff. I watch Walking Dead. I watch a lot of other stuff, but... You know, when I've got a good internet connection, I just surf through Netflix, really. Hmm. Very good. 
I think I'll actually uh, get changed into some comfortable clothes. Jump on the couch and watch some TV. Eat this on the couch. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Like I said, just a quick chili in the uh, crock pot. Um, I do a lot of crock pot videos, like I said before. But now we're going to start phasing that out. And we're going to move into the Instapot and the electric pressure cooking. I think the first thing we'll do is maybe homemade hummus. Um, I use the pressure cooker for the garbanzo beans, the chickpeas. And uh, we'll make a good hummus. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Maybe the next cooking video or within the next cooking videos, we'll do a, uh, a nice hummus. All right, guys, I'm going to get changed, jump on the couch and eat. We'll talk to you later.